I love animals because, probably because of that unconditional love. You can, you can have a bad day, you can look bad, you can act crummy to them, and they just come and love you despite that, and they are just sweet. I started working at DHA uh, in the middle of February 2013 and that was about a month after we lost our dog of 14 years, Sunshine, our sweet Sunshine Beagle. And I'm sorry I can't help every time I talk about her I cry. It's okay. When I started working here every time I see a beagle come in I cry. Every time I just saw an animal that was <laughs> not well, I cried. I'm sitting on our uh, hill in our backyard, and Sunshine's grave is right behind me. Um, there's a little statue of a beagle that I used to have out front, and then when she passed, I wanted to be able to look and just see where she was every day. I can see it when I pull into the driveway. I can see it when I look out the back, back window. And uh, her ashes are buried. Her collar and her tags are around the little statue. Sunshine passed away in early January, and by February I was working here. And it really helped, because being at home, I just did a lot of crying. And I just felt after that, that she had such a good life that I felt the need to go and save. I just felt like I needed to save all the animals that were not wanted in the world and I said I, I don't want to have just one animal I want more than one because when you lose one your house is so empty and quiet and it's it's very sad it's a it's an awful time it's like the worst time in the world even before we lost her I thought I want to do something other than fitness. I have the time. What can I do? So I wanted to, I thought, I'll work, I would like to work in an animal shelter. God was looking out for me because I got online and they were looking for someone here at Delaware Humane. Who's the dog in there? Uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly, like, is the purpose of the shelter? to house and keep safe cats and dogs that are stray or abandoned, uh, not wanted, unfortunately. Um, people can bring them here and we take care of them and we try to get them adopted. If they need to be spayed or neutered, that's the first thing that we will do because we have an overwhelming amount of cats and dogs running around loose in Delaware and every state practically. So um, any medical attention they need, we give to them. And our goal is to get them in a forever home. We give them food and water every day, fresh food and water. Uh, if the cats, we give them clean litter, clean beds, uh, the dogs as well, everything is washed out and clean and disinfected. When I work in the morning, the first thing I do, we check to make sure the cats, it's an awful thing to say, make sure they're alive and well. Any ones that eat canned food, that's the first thing that we check and see, make sure they have food. Then we start cleaning. We have a process which we clean, you know, one room at a time. Free roaming cat room is a little bit easier, but again, we change the litter. We give them fresh food and water, fresh linens, disinfect the cages if they're in cages, disinfect the floors or sweep the floors, mop the floors, uh, love them always. <laughs> we try to have fun with them while we're doing all this cleaning around them, and we do. They're very happy to see us in the morning because they come 
with all their meows and running up and they just seem happy. So it's a nice, it's a nice way to come into work, opposed to maybe coming into a boss that's, you know, not so happy, maybe. <laughs> you have these wonderful animals that give you unconditional love. This is Jingles. Jingles is like the big guy who takes care of everybody. Do dog goes by. He's like at that door. He's like, get out. <laughs> Don't you come in here with my cats. So that's what I do in the morning. So we're cleaning in the morning. We're constantly washing. We have loads of wash. I mean, tons, piles. And we only have two washers and dryers, and they don't even work that well. So it takes a long time. So you guys are building new building yes. next door. Yes, yes, we're so excited. We're building a new building. Um, you guys still like is that all paid for? Or is it still no. donations? Donations, donations. We have fundraisers all the time. We just had a big one uh, Saturday night called the Muttini Mixer. But uh, we made some money, but not as much as we'd like to. We actually need, I mean, it takes millions to build a building, of course. Uh, but it's going to be a wonderful, bright place to work. There's going to be more open space for the cats. And the walls are starting to go up. And I saw lumber being delivered today. So by January of 2015, we're supposed to be in there. And we can't wait because this is a very old building. By the end of March, I adopted two new beagles. <laughs> They're not new. <laughs> one was four at the time, and one was 10. I did not think anyone would adopt him. And, I, and he, they, they were just so sweet. They came in from the Kent County SPCA in Lower Delaware. This is Shane. He's about five years old. Tuck, come here, babe. This is Tucker. Mm -hmm. He's about mm -hmm. 11. Mm -hmm. And next Saturday, the 29th of March, we'll have them a year. Here, what do you like see are like the biggest problems for like the animals coming in or just animals in general? Like The biggest problem is we don't always have the room. There's a lot of people who come here and they expect us just to take uh, an animal right away. Uh, we do need to examine the animals, but sometimes we just don't have the room and we have to refer them to other shelters. I would say that's the, the biggest problem. Please support your local shelter any way you can, whether you volunteer, whether you contribute some money, whether you contribute some detergent bleach or, <laughs> or your old linens that you don't want, towels. Um, or just come in and visit with them. That's, you know, even if you can't volunteer, you can always come in and visit with the animals because they love that. <laughs> <laughs>